Hi everybody, welcome back. In this problem and video, we're going to calculate a drug regimen for a continuous infusion. So here's the scenario. You need to prescribe a patient drug A, which is given as a continuous infusion. The pharmacokinetic parameters for this drug are clearance, which is equal to 1.8 liters per minute, and volume of distribution, which is equal to 41.8 liters. Your desired concentrations for this continuous infusion to achieve therapeutic efficacy is 6.0 milligrams per liter. So as with all drug regimen calculations, we usually need to calculate A, dose, and interval. However, because this is a continuous infusion, we don't need an interval. It's continuous, therefore we're giving it continuously. So, with that in mind, let's start with calculating a loading dose, which, in a continuous infusion situation, is concentration of steady state desired, so 6.0, times the volume of distribution. And that equals 250.8 milligrams, which we probably would round in real life to 250 milligrams. So we figured out our loading dose. Now let's figure out our maintenance dose or our infusion rate. And that's simply calculated as the concentration at steady state desired times clearance. So figuring out how much drug is going to be cleared and counteracting that with our infusion rate to achieve a concentration desired at steady state. Now this also can be calculated as concentration at steady state times the elimination rate constant times V, which if you go back to the formulas or the equations video that I have, you'll see the interconnection between clearance and the substitution here of rate elimination constant times volume of distribution. But because today we have the clearance, we're gonna use that. So it's 6.0 milligrams per liter, that is our desired steady state concentration, times 1.8 liters per minute. Liters cancel out. And that equals 10.8 milligrams per minute. And this may or may not be rounded, depending on, again, the context and this actual scenario and real life drug you're using, to perhaps 10 milligrams per minute. Continuous infusion, as you can see, because there's no interval that needs to be calculated, is pretty straightforward. Figuring out a loading dose of 250 milligrams in this situation, we'd follow it by a continuous infusion of 10 milligrams per minute to achieve our steady state desired level of 6.0 milligrams per liter. Thank you for your attention.